Jaden, behind the scenes, how are you feeling right now? <coughs> <I'm sleeping. laughs> we had to wake him up. He was forced to wake up for this. He has no choice well, because it's my birthday. <laughs> wanted to approach Mochi and then he's just he's such a snob you are Girl, I'm, gonna you know. I'm gonna hide now I'm gonna hide now What's the name of your sister? Jen which is Jen. Jane in English Jen Oh Jane so basically ito Come and go yung mga tao mga one two four people lang So I just wanna share to you that today is my birthday or at least the day that I shot this video it is February 21 2021 and I am now 24 years old <laughs> I just wanna take this video for the last moments of my birthday it's already 11 41 p.m. right now and I just wanna share to you my update and how my day went today so basically in the morning i had to prepare because i got an interview from gna it's so exciting because i i i mean who would expect that i will be on tv as a k-drama fan Matagal ko na po napapunod yung K-drama since bata pa po ako. Dahil walang mapagkaabalahan noong lockdown, nakumbinsi raw niya ang pamilya na manood na rin ng K-drama. Malaki raw ang influensya ng Korean culture kay Justin. Mula sa fashion, hairstyle, at maging sa kanyang vlogs, certified K-drama fan si Justin. You know, as a K-drama fan, I'm also really thankful of K-drama because during my hard times last year and I'm sure a lot of us had a difficult time last year because of the pandemic and there were so many lessons I had to learn last year and God was there for me the whole time and God will God comforted me used my friends family and everyone to be able to 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 be there for me and just support me even though I was like there was a time, a period of months where I was crying almost every day. But somehow God used K-drama also as a source of somehow happiness and inspiration to reach my dreams. It's just amazing how, you know, it also helped me a lot during the pandemic and God used it. I just want to say that one thing I can learn from this experience is that you just continue doing what you love and don't be disappointed and just continue to uh, i mean don't continue in being disappointed move on and and 
go to the next day full of new hope again and just continue reaching for your dreams. I'm sure I'm not anywhere near with my dreams because I want to be an actress and this is just me being a fan. So yeah, I'm actually applying for masters in Korea. It's very um, nerve-wracking. I'm scared. Like, I don't know if I will make it or not. Like, I'm confident at the same time. Like, yes, let's claim it. But at the same time, you're like, when you think about the competition of everyone, and <gasps> so much people are applying for that scholarship. But you know, I always say to myself, or at least I always try to remind myself that Lord, nothing is impossible for you. So this, this is for you. And if I surrender to him, do all I can to make it there. And if I make it, then yes, wow. But if I don't, then it means maybe it's not yet for me or it's not for me. So yeah, that's like one thing I really learned from last year during the pandemic is that that you know we all have to learn how to be patient and also you, you don't have to rush in a lot of things like comparing yourself with other people who already has a good job or earning well or famous or i don't know anything that you might compare yourself with other people good looking or what else good job high salary there were so many plans that were ruined for me during 2020. I was supposed to intern at a good photography company. I was supposed to go to Spain for a language assistant program. And I was supposed to travel a lot. And yeah, so, but it did not happen. So at the end of the day, it's always gonna be, you know, up to God and His plans for us. And I know pandemic is not something beautiful. It's really bad and it's really destructive it has ruined so much lives ruined our our lives but at the same time i think you can still see something beautiful in it like how people got to go together you see the good things in people also both the bad things but the good things where people help one another people created communities to help one another and even though 23 years old me was very stressed depressed and it was tough but look at where I am now. It was also in during 2020 when I started making K-drama videos, um, contents in YouTube. And also that was a time I got inspired again to become an actress. So those are the good sides. And God is also building my faith to trust in Him. What are His plans for me? So, so yeah, I just wanted to share to you all and I hope you get inspired and get confidence and be able to go out there and and just believe and have faith and and learn what you have to learn from the past year. Um, although it was difficult, I'm sure there can be something beautiful that comes out of it. So yeah, that's all for my video. Kamsamida. Um, Thank you everyone. Salamat po. See you on my next video. Bye.